currently I think that the biggest differences are between former Eastern Europe and uh, Western Europe. Uh, Western Europe is currently more homogeneous. It means that life expectancy is longer, but countries are much more similar. Regarding Eastern Europe, uh, the uh, people think that it's another homogeneous group, but it's not true because there are bigger differences between countries. And also there are differences when mortality started decreasing in former Eastern Europe after political change. It's not only about uh, GDP, it's also about uh, cultural habits, about smoking, drinking uh, and uh, unhealthy behavior. I, would, I wouldn't say that people in the Czech Republic, for instance, behave health, in a health way, but uh, I think that um, also uh, importations from the West regarding uh, some new technologies in medicine, especially for uh, regarding uh, cardiovascular diseases. Uh, so it was a big advance and it helped a lot. So it means that today we observe that uh, mortality or death rates uh, decrease, decrease uh, mostly for older age and from uh, circulatory diseases. And this phenomenon was observed uh, in, form, in, in the past in the West, but there it started in 1970s and in former Eastern Europe not immediately after political change, slightly later, and it was uh, it started differently in each country. According to uh, some research, uh, it's possible to assume that uh, not only that is postponed, but also uh, diseases or morbidity is postponed. It means that uh, additional years uh, will be left uh, in better health conditions compared with uh, older generations. Even uh, there are some papers uh, and they publish that, for instance, health situation of uh, today uh, person at age 50 can be compared with the health situation uh, of uh, a, of a person at age 40 50 years ago so i believe that uh, it's it is not only uh, postponement of age at at death but it's also a postponement of morbidity so people will live longer and more healthy Speaking about former Eastern Europe, it's a break between what was before, because uh, however family was supported and what I think is the worst thing that uh, somehow in the past uh, women could uh, reconcile, combine work and family. And now with market economy, I have not nothing against market economy, but it it's necessary to be reasonable. There are some thresholds. It's much more difficult to combine work and family and they are excluded from a life. And it's a danger that in the uh, later stage of life, uh, they uh, will face very difficult situation because for them it will be much more difficult to find some a reasonable job uh, to have money and also for pension mm -hmm. it will uh, it will impact pensions uh, of them uh, in the future so that's uh, the sequence of events which is initially caused by very low fertility and uh, also uh, for the long future it's uh, necessary for the replacement of population uh, to have children. I think that uh, we can assume two scenarios. Uh, 
the first one is when you have more and more uh, older people in the population, uh, it's taken later on like something normal, and people will adjust the behavior. On the other hand, we can assume another scenario that uh, it will be a tension uh, regarding pension system, healthcare system, etc. Uh, it can be the conflict between generations. And the problem is, again, for former Eastern Europe, that uh, in uh, Eastern European countries, according to survey data, people are much less tolerant towards seniors compared with Western Europe, especially compared with Northern Europe. Uh, so it means that they consider that seniors are burden for a society, that they take jobs of, for, of uh, young people, etc., etc. For me, it's very strange because uh, populations in former Eastern Europe's, Europe are currently young; they are not old. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, we have those hostile attitudes. Uh, so. We can assume both, but I am an optimist and I believe that uh, societies will move and will uh, master everything because in the past uh, we saw uh, different uh, forecasting, different provisions and uh, they, will not, they would not be fulfilled.